become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the mighty Gurner, a German strongman from the Bronze Era who famously wrestled with elephants and performed other amazing strength feats in his heyday. To many, he is considered the strongest man of all time because he only came into his prime after the First World War, where he was severely injured. Yet still, with his disability and in his mid-30s, he was able to become one of the strongest men in history. Truly remarkable, a remarkable figure. Here he is pictured wrestling the young elephant in a mock wrestling match where he performed in Pagel Circus. This guy, I mean, he was truly a remarkable human being, Gurner. So let's have a look at this remarkable Bronze Era strongman. Hermann Gurner was born in Leipzig, Germany in 1891 and lived till 1956 into his late 60s. He joined the Atlas Weightlifting Club at 13 years of age and um, he could already dumbbell swing 112 pounds at that early age. At 17 years of age, he could clean and jerk 330 pounds, so truly a young prodigy in the making. And by 23 years of age, he could clean and jerk 350 pounds. Can you believe that? It's incredible at such a young age. Um, unfortunately, his training was interrupted by the First World War, where he was blinded and wounded. Um, his left arm was actually wounded with shrapnel. And um, although he had this misfortune, he uh, continued to train after that and was taken on by British champion W.A. Pullum. Now, although Hermann Goerner was injured in the First World War and blinded, um, he had this amazing transformation. Here he is at um, in his mid-30s. At age 35, these measurements are rather incredible, especially for a man with this, this, these disabilities. Uh, at 6'1", he weighed almost two, 250 pounds, had a neck of almost 20 inches, a chest expanded of 48 inches, um, his biceps were 18 inches. You can clearly see he's got very large, large arms. Uh, a waist of 38 inches, calves of 17 inches, and um, his forearms were 14.5 inches with thighs of almost 27 inches. You can see him compar in, in comparison to this normal height, uh, I guess a, a man of a normal average height, he's truly a, a very impressive specimen, an impressive human specimen, very massive for a bronze era bodybuilder and I mean he wasn't just massive in look he was definitely strong. Now one of his most famous strength feats was the elephant stunt as I mentioned earlier which he uh, performed on tour with Pagel Circus. At the beginning this elephant actually only weighed 700 pounds only um, but uh, he would have the elephant actually only place its legs on his own shoulders and perform a mock wrestling show. What's interesting though is that as the elephant got older and stronger and weighed up to 1,500 pounds, so uh, yeah, that's pretty impressive, almost, yeah, it's about 700 kilos, uh, he would continue wrestling um, even though the elephant got heavier and heavier. Really, really impressive feat. Now, if you didn't think that was insane enough, Gurner is shown here uh, doing another sensational stunt where he is standing erect as shown in the photo in a specially constructed frame and he would be holding up on his shoulders a weight of more than one and a half tons that is a car with six people in it it's just insane this guy was <laughs> had incredible brute brute force and strength now I've said it before and I'll say it again, what's most impressive about the mighty Gurner is that he performed all these, these feats being blind in one eye and having shrapnel in his uh, left arm. Um, although he came back from the First World War injured and disabled, uh, he, he was taken on by W.A. Pullum, a very famous British uh, uh, weightlifting champion. And these are the, um, the incredible feats of strength listed that Gurner was capable of. Uh, the right hand deadlift, just with the right hand, of 602 pounds. But he claims that before the war, he did 728 pounds with one hand. That's just incredible. 
A two hands deadlift recorded at 661 pounds, but again he claims an almost 800 pound deadlift before the war. A right hand swing of 220, a jerk behind the neck um, of almost 400 pounds without cleaning it, so just going from, uh, from uprights. A right hand snatch of 220 pounds, two hand snatch of almost 300 pounds, 275 pounds, it's crazy. Two hands jerk of 360, uh, 363, but he claims a 411 prior to the war. That's just incredible. Um, also a two dumbbell jerk of 330, a one hand clean of almost 300 pounds, a right hand clean and jerk of 250, two hands clean and jerk, again almost 400 pounds, and a continental pull, which is basically um, any way possible of 440 and a squat of 550. This guy was truly a freak, a beast. I mean, this guy was as strong as a human can possibly get being natural. That's just insane. That's why he was called the Mighty Gurner. Incredible strength in this German strongman. And here's my favorite photo of the Mighty Gurner flexing his 18-inch arms. What a beast. And truly a champion. And the reason I say a champion is because this guy wasn't just a strong man. But he was a champion in that he was able to conquer his own demons. He was able to overcome his own disabilities. Even though he was blind and injured, he became one of the strongest men of all time. I mean, and this is what makes him a champion. The, the ability to use his mind to control his body and to become something truly amazing. Definitely worth remembering this German strongman from the Bronze Era, the Mighty Gurner. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm. Thank you for watching and leave me your comments. Um, you can support my work if you like by donating via PayPal or uh, you can become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash Golden Era Bookworm where you'll find an online library of photos, of booklets and of articles. And you can also go to my shop if you wish to learn more about strongman training from the Bronze Era, www.goldenerabookworm.com. Hope you've enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now. Now, if you wish to purchase any books from the Bronze Era of bodybuilding, you can go to www.goldenerabookworm.com where you'll find books on George Hackenschmidt, Professor Attila, who was the mentor of Eugene Sandow, as well as Eugene Sandow courses and books. I just want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.